hello thank you so much for clicking on my video today i'm cleaning out my deep freezer because we went to the market and we bought some food stuff in bulk so i need to wash out the freezer so that it's clean and ready to receive the new food as i'm cleaning i'll share with you some sneaky tips i use to maintain my freezer and also how i keep it looking cleaner for longer so if you enjoy watching cleaning videos and you want to see how i wash my freezer then please stick around so it's been about eight months since i last cleaned out my deep freezer and that's because cleaning the fridge or the freezer is one of my least favorite chores to do and also power supply in nigeria is very very unpredictable so i prefer to preserve the ice that has already accumulated inside the freezer by cleaning it strictly on a need to basis so what i do is i wait until we've exhausted all the food inside the freezer before i clean it the ice that accumulated at the bottom of the freezer was so thick it was about six to eight inches thick and the freezer was really struggling to work well so after about three days of waiting for the ice to melt on its own I got tired of waiting and I poured a kettle of boiling water into it. That's what now melted it to this point. I was really careful and I made sure that none of the hot water touched the sides of the freezer because I have never poured water like that into my freezer and I didn't know what will happen. If you've ever experienced ice like this in your freezer, please comment below and tell me the technique you used to get rid of it. I'm just removing the ice block and I'm also going to scoop out all the dirty water that has melted so that I can start the cleaning proper. My son was really excited to help me clean out the freezer because he thought he would be able to play with the ice. He has never seen this much ice before in his life and he was really excited to touch it. But because the ice was dirty, I couldn't allow him. At this point, I'm already tired of the whole process of cleaning this freezer and I can't wait to be done but I have to finish what I have started so I continue scraping out all the ice and dirty water so that I can start the process of cleaning. So these are the only two products I'm using to clean out the freezer. I've left the details of them in the description. The dishwashing liquid is to wash while the bleach is to sanitize afterwards. I used to use detergent to clean my freezer before. It was really difficult to rinse it out and it always left some residue behind. So I switched to dishwashing liquid because it gives me that squeaky clean that I like without the residue. Some people even use scoring powder, so you can use whatever product that suits you. I'm just mixing a little bit of dishwashing liquid in water and that's why I love the idea of using dishwashing liquid to wash my freezer because even when I put too much product in, when it comes time to rinse it off, it rinses off squeaky clean. So I'm making sure to give this freezer a thorough scrub. I'm making sure to touch those places at the edges, the corners, the nooks and crannies of the freezer where bacteria and germs might be hiding. And that is why I enjoy using fewer products to clean because no too much paparazzi in one or two steps I'm done. I'm just going to go ahead and continue scrubbing the freezer until it's clean.
one of the main ways i keep my freezer looking cleaner for longer is to protect it from spills and leakages and the way i do this is by putting basins at the bottom of the freezer and then i put my food stuff in bags and i put those bags in the basins so what happens is that if there's any leakage or any spill it spills into those bases and not directly onto the freezer floor also very important to pack and bag your food stuff properly so that smells don't jump from one item to the other for example when you put a bottle of water in the freezer to chill and it comes out smelling or tasting of fish it means that you didn't package your fish very well before you put them in the freezer After giving the freezer a good scrub, I rinsed it with water thoroughly. So after drying up the water that I had poured into the freezer during the rinsing process, it's time to sanitize the freezer. This is the spray bottle that I'm going to use to mix my bleach solution. The aim is to get one part of bleach to eight parts or more of water because I just want something that will kill bacteria and viruses without having that overwhelming smell of bleach or without contaminating the food I'll put in the freezer. And yes, I know that vinegar, white vinegar is better and is safer for the environment but in Nigeria, bleach is readily available, vinegar is not. So I'm just going to eyeball it, eight parts of water to one part bleach. Using bleach solution to sanitize my freezer is one of the sneaky ways I use to maintain the white of my freezer and to also keep it looking cleaner for longer because not only does bleach kill the bacteria that cause odor in the freezer, it also helps to keep my freezer looking shinier and cleaner for longer so I don't have to always wipe it down kind of helps me to repel dust as well so i'm just spraying down the freezer with the bleach solution i'm trying to make sure that i get every crevice every nook and cranny of the freezer to make sure that there is no bacteria or virus hiding anywhere as i was spraying down the freezer the power went out nepa took the light <laughs> so that's why the kitchen is a bit dark after applying the bleach solution to the freezer, I allow it to sit for like 20 minutes and then I use a clean cloth to wipe everything off and the reason why I wipe it off is because bleach is a chemical and I don't want it to contaminate the food I'm going to put in the freezer. Also, wiping it down hastens the drying process and it reduces the risk of dust settling on the wet surfaces again. I wipe down my deep freezer until it's dry and then I leave it open for another one hour to air dry before I start putting my food stuff inside. So that's it. You can see how clean and sparkly my freezer looks after I finish giving it a thorough bath. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you found some value in it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And also don't forget to leave a comment below.
Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and for spending your time with me. My name is Akuna Ukanwa and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.